newest episode of Two Doc Talk, we, we have, have a very special, special guest, guest, Justin. Look at Look him, at he's him. so adorable. He's so ready to talk about stuff we took. All right, now we have we have this guy. Uh, he's been in a few guess. of our videos. Yeah, we he's uh, like him. He's famous for roles such as guy who has seen Mr. Gherkin, uh, guy who asks Jesse if he wants to see a dead body, and, and uh, Mr. Gherkin. And he was in the Ghost Ball video. He was in the promotion video. He was in Dude Course. He he recorded the. Hmm? He was in. He the was bear. in the bear. He's the guy that sold Timo that. Their yeah. thing. Anyway, anyway, let's get on with it. He recorded toothpaste and a lot of. I don't know, give a big round of applause for it's Hunter Osborne. Oh crap! <laughs> I hope you die. Okay. I hope everyone dies. <laughs> Justin uh, likes him. Uh, immortality is a curse, really. <laughs> All, right. All right. So we're gonna be talking about a lot of stuff this episode. We're going to be going over childhood memories. Childhood... Hunter, you're on your phone. <laughs> get, off, get off your phone. It's <laughs> <Okay. laughs> an addiction! That, you're the one that was all like, oh, let's get this episode It's an addiction! Oh. Alright, so we're going to be talking about childhood memories. Now, each we're going to uh, each go through and ask a question or, like, say some sort of first everyone has when they're a child and, like, you know... Thumbnail. Each, each, each person gives one of their, like... Gives their version of it. <laughs> Whatever Justin happened to him. Justin! <laughs> He's Justin! Just okay. Okay, I'm just, I'm just gonna hold him here. Okay, I'm gonna hold him. Alright, so, uh, I think, uh, I, I wanna go first. Alright, I'll go last since Ow. I need to think of one. Alright. I'm gonna go first. Um, I wish we had Jesse in the background again. <laughs> when it comes to childhood, what was the most devastated you ever were with a crush? With a crush? At childhood? Like, what's the worst thing that ever happened to you? What uh, we asking, oh, I got like, one. We each, we each answer. I got one. All right. I'm, I'm going to go first because okay. I asked the question. Uh, there was this girl. She meant everything to me. We were like 10. Anyway, like 10 years old. doesn't really matter. It was kind of stupid. I uh, really liked this girl. Uh, apparently she knew it too. And uh, in gym, on Valentine's Day, we were having a roller skating thing. It was awesome. Mm -hmm. uh, I brought this little green... Diamond heart kind of thing. It wasn't real diamond. It was like a little thing. I was rolling gonna... in diamonds and yeah. I was gonna give it to her, um, but what ended up happening was uh, she had a, a boyfriend. They weren't, they weren't really boyfriends, you know, because like, they weren't really boyfriends. Boyfriends. Just, you mean, girlfriend? They weren't really a thing because it was so it was in primary guy. school. You know, even even middle school kind of doesn't really count. Like the like fifth grade ish, sixth grade. Um, but yeah, so she ended up. Like hearing that I liked her or something, so she made fun of me. <laughs> she 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 rolled you by. Like she rolled you by. Like me. She rolled by on skates. Said Happy Valentine's Day. Nerd. And then, and then a friend of hers, a guy who was bigger than me, a lot bigger. He was like Hulk. Um, he pushed me down while I was on roller skates. Aww. And I ended up face planting and busted open my uh, like busted the bump the button off of my pants. <laughs> So when I stood up, my like fly was open, and I had to go home early. That's hilarious! Wow. That's so funny! <laughs> Happy Valentine's Day, nerd! <laughs> my fly! Dude, I wrote about this in a diary. In a what? diary? <laughs> diary of a wimpy kid, do it yourself, boy. <laughs> okay, I was about to say, what I did still it turn have, you? I still have it at my I was house. I about to say, did it turn you gay? I gotta whip that thing out sometime. <laughs> no one's ever gonna love me now. You know we don't cut these. So, this is, this is fine. Okay, um, now Hunter, it's, it's your turn. What's your childhood question, or childhood related question? Wait! Childhood crush. Oh uh, yeah, we gotta answer yeah, your question soon. I am still gonna answer your question. Ah. Uh, fifth grade, we were at, I was at Whittier Primary, and this girl had a crush on me, and I, at the time I didn't know it. We were outside one day playing kickball, and like that was like the big thing back in fifth grade. That was the stuff. kick ball. Well, we yeah. kick balls. Gay? Can we please get on? Please? But no, like we were playing kick ball, and one of her friends walked up to me and gave me a note saying, "Hey, I like you. Here's my number." At the time, I was in fifth grade, like twelve, I think maybe something like that. Fifth grade would be like. 10 or 11. 10 or 11. So, yeah, probably some, so something like that. Yeah, like really. And it gave me a number, so all, all I honestly had was a MySpace, because that was popular back then. Add me on MySpace. And Add me that's on MySpace. Exact, I literally wrote my MySpace username down and gave it to her, her friend to give to her. 
And that night I went home, was like all excited, like, oh yeah, I'm, a, I'm talking to a girl on MySpace. Next thing I know, it's my brother's cousin that likes me. So dun, it's, dun, like, dun. it's like family that likes me. And That's I awkward. like like I was like like loving just like And then she wrote you a note and said, and like, Give me uh, my space. Uh, we can move to Alabama. Alright? This can work. <laughs> I have family in Alabama. Give me my space. <laughs> <laughs> but no, yeah, like and then like the next like month I think it was and then she was like literally at the family reunion and it was like super awkward. Oh uh, dude, just like on different sides of the room. No, <laughs> still we were at a park room. playing uh, kickball. Oh, it's just, it's just <laughs> like it, it, full rotations. Full circle. Full circle. <laughs> Every time there's a moment of silence out here, it's Justin looking. Dude, dude. And then, dude, and... <laughs> <laughs> you can't even speak. I can't. Okay. Alright, Timo, what's yours? Well, my probably, probably the biggest devastation, uh, in fifth grade, I had a, uh, Huge crush on this girl, and I'm pretty sure she had a crush on me, but we would always talk. Like, we weren't in any classes together, but we were, took the bus together. We would always talk and flirt, and I'd be like, this girl the one. And I even wrote my very first love song about her, so Matthew knows about her. Or I've told her about... I've told him about her. And, um, in sixth grade, I was like, over the summer, I was like, I wonder if we're gonna be just as close next year as we were the, um... But we were on the bus together in sixth grade, so we didn't talk as much because for some reason we mainly only talked on the bus. So um, I told one of my good friends there that I had a crush on her, and I was just like, I, I, I like her, man, but I'm too scared to talk to her. And he would be like, you gotta talk to her or else it's gonna be too late. And I'm just like, I, I, I want to. And he's like, dude, I'm warning you, it's gonna be too late if you don't talk to her soon. And I was like, I gotta do it, I gotta do it. And the next day, freaking... Uh, my buddy of mine is like, so guess what? Me and that girl, you like, are dating. And I'm just like, are you kidding me? I just told you, I liked, that was what your warning was? It's going to be too dude. late. I mean, you're going to ask her out. Dude, that same thing happened to me in fifth grade. I know. You dude, dude, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We only, we're only supposed to give one story, but in fifth grade, I liked so this girl. Sad. I ended up realizing years later, I think she liked me back. And the guy that I was close friends with, I told, I liked her. And then they ended up dating like a week later. He asked her out on Facebook. Exactly what happened with me. Like classy. I, I I told him I liked her, and then immediately they started. Or he asked her out, and they started dating. I was I was like, are you freaking? That's the worst thing. What kind of friend does that, man? And in third grade, I had a girl. <laughs> these relationships when you got dogs. I, I had a friend tell a girl I liked her, and then she asked me later that day, "Do you like me?" And I said, "Why?" She said, "Because your friend told me." And I said, "Yeah." All she said was, I don't like you. And then she never talked to me again. <laughs> that was okay, nice. So it's my yeah. time to ask a question. I don't like you. Wait, wait. What, what, how long have we been recording? 8.10. Alright, eight? let's, let's not try to go over. Jeez, like 8 minutes already? Let's try not to go over 20. Okay. Eight That's going to suck to send to I don't know. That's how it works. It's fine, it's fine. Alright, but uh, this is kind of a hard question. But what is your guys' earliest and like by earliest i mean your first memory you guys will like remember from your childhood it could be anything i remember i'll go first oh, i'll go first <laughs> I don't know. okay go but the earliest memory that i remember well that everybody keeps bringing up to me which is like the one that always pops in my head is i was two years old and at the time i was living with my grandma with my mom my aunt and my uncle and my sisters and like I had seen how my aunt put her money in her bra and then like when she put her under bra. So I was two years old, went downstairs, got a, got one of her bras and one of her underwear <coughs> and put them on and stuck, took, uh, my grandma gave me money, I stuck it in my bra and panties. <laughs> and the worst thing about it, it was a thong. It was a thong. I think your story beats mine. <laughs> Team <laughs> girl. <laughs> earliest earliest yeah. memory. I remember coming out the womb. <laughs> what? <laughs> no, what? Just I like, remember, Max. dude. I remember my cells forming. <laughs> I, rem I remember. Never mind. Okay. <laughs> no, don't, don't even say. It. I know exactly what you're about to say. What's my earliest memory? Uh, probably in Germany when I used to live in Germany. So I moved there when I was three months old. Uh. Mine's not really exciting or anything funny because uh, <laughs> it was just like me and Gavin with my brother Gavin uh, 
would push each other down slides and we would always hurt each other. Push each other? <laughs> we would just like, I'm gonna just wow. Yeah, it would be like surprise pushes. I'd be like standing up on it and there would be like a, would take like a water hose and spray it down slide and I'd be like, oh, I'm about to go again. And I'd be like, bro, and I'd just like, and I'd start crying. And I'd be like, why did you do it? He would just start laughing at me. That's probably my earliest memories, just some stuff like that in Germany. Or, uh, I also remember playing with cars running around Omi and Opa's house, which my grandma and grandpa in Germany, and, uh, so, I guess that, <laughs> just my brother torturing me on the slide, and, uh, playing with cars. Alright, my earliest memory is, uh, it's like, it's like fuzzy, you know, where you can't really make it all out, but I think I was like three. He's gonna walk the wall. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I was like three. So I All right, and my dad was sitting at the dining room table, like just drawing or reading the paper or something. And it was just me and him, and I was like, I always loved going under the table when I was a little kid. So I was like walking under the table, and I looked over and I saw his legs were open. <laughs> this already sounds bad. So I punched him right in the crotch. <laughs> <laughs> this is like, the... and then oh, your legs are open. <laughs> Dude. No, okay. So I I thought like I remember punching him and being like, oh no, now he's gonna be angry. But his reaction was, he pushed back from the table, <laughs> and he leaned over on his legs, and he like, he just looked at me, like, he looked sad. He was like, why did you do that? <laughs> and all I said was, I saw it in a movie. I saw it in a movie. I saw it in a movie. <laughs> the first time your dad was just... Truly disappointed in you. <laughs> Wait, you're first wrong. The first of very, the very, first of very, very, very many. many. No, very many. the first time was in your war, right? Oh! No, the first time was when my mom was like, crap. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's like, uh, uh, honey, there's two lines here. All right, so we need to talk. Oh. So it's my turn to ask the question, right? You had that appointment two months ago. <laughs> yeah, Did you I go through with it? it? <laughs> yeah, I just told you I went to it. Anyway, what? Justin, Justin, no, Justin, no. no. Okay, just he's let him fine. He's, sit. He's laying sit. by the camera or by the tripod. We don't want him to knock it over. All right, so <laughs> he's he's gonna gonna knock knock it over. what's your question? But now he comes back. All right, my question is, what is the biggest temper tantrum you've ever had as a kid that you can remember? Ooh. And Ooh. Uh, I, I, since most kids have really bad ones, I'm just like, it's a pretty good one. Dude, I, I, I you you're first, first you're the one I asked. All right, I got, I got it. Well, I've been, as a kid, I've been known for pulling fire alarms at places, but not because I was angry. You know, like that kid that pulls fire alarms. <laughs> not because he's angry. Just because I want to. Just because he wants to. Seriously, you could ask my parents. Like, I don't remember doing it, but they say I used to pull fire alarms just because I saw him. I was like, oh, Dude, red. It's so weird that we're like close friends because when I was at Northmore, like my primary school, I used to just take fire extinguishers. <laughs> this is out. mine now. I used to take them out of the thing and just Wait. like. It's his turn. I'm sorry. This is mine now. That's so weird. We're I love like, that. We're, we're close friends. <coughs> we're, we're excluding you. We're firemen. We're Sink into the couch. We're, no we're growing to be best friend firemen. <laughs> good, good. You set fires. I put them out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I set them up. Okay. Um, That's how this friendship So probably works. my biggest tantrum child, ten, whatever. Yes. Anger. We're Jesse now. Well, Jesse's on vacation. Jesse's on vacation. Jesse's on vacation. He's not here. He's not here. So we're, we're goofing with them. Okay. Goofing. So um, the reason why I moved to Peoria, I moved from Massachusetts. I moved from Massachusetts to Peoria because my dad got a job at a church, and uh, at the church I would go to this like little kid area because I was, I was like four when I moved here, or four or five. Yeah, I was four, and mm. um. I would always get mad when I didn't get what I want. <laughs> so I remember one time, this uh, one of the leader people, one of the people that were in charge of us, watching us, uh, wouldn't wouldn't give me like apple juice or something because I've already had one, <laughs> and I wanted another one. I see where this is going. And uh, <laughs> so I started screaming, and she was just like trying to calm me down. So she left to go um, get my dad, I guess. And then when she came back, I was gone. I left the room, went outside, and started booking it across the busy street. And <laughs> apple juice! <laughs> I was like, you're never gonna get me. The only thing that'll bring me back is my juice. Do you just do like a swan dive off a highway overpass? <laughs> <laughs> You'll never catch me. Seriously, I, I started like booking it and going to the street. I think the only reason why they found me is because like they looked out the window and someone like saw me just like, is that? Is that Timo running at? Just see like this little kid. 
Dude, like they're they're, they're like those tall they're like those tall cars that like going over you. I'm dodging and waving. Dude, they see one go over you and you're just gone. Like you just come to the bottom of it. I'm like Stewie from Family Guy. You'll oh. never catch me up. <laughs> Dude, it's an apple juice truck. <laughs> just happens to be an apple, apple juice. juice. Apple juice. All right, and then and then they found me naked, uh, drunk, like hang, hung over at a strip club. I think there's a movie about that. Anyway. <laughs> okay. That's about me. Dude, dog hair in my mouth. All right. Well, so. <laughs> it's like it's like on the, on the tip of my tongue. So who's next? Me. Okay. Right. Always me. I got it. All right. I got it. I was going hey. I got we're, it. We're going like, okay. So, so, um, all right. What was the question again? Base ta- okay, temper tantrum. So what was your worst temper tantrum? That you um, yeah. oh. So as kids, me and my sister, uh, were... We're close enough so that there were like at least six years in between me being able to ride in front seat and her getting her car so that she, or like actually like eight years. So there's like this eight year span where we would always fight for the shotgun seat. Mm-hmm. So my mom decided, okay, cause it's just two kids. She would say every even day I would get to ride. Like if it was the 13th or 15th, I would get to ride. And every odd. odd, every even day my sister would get to ride. So like 10 or 12. Odd. Odd. So I remember one day it was an it was an odd day, so it would be mine. It was an odd day. So, so obviously we were at my grandparents' house, um, and my sister went out to the car first, and she got in the shotgun seat, and so I was really mad because I was like I, I think I was like already tired and upset, so I was like ten, and I walked out there and I saw her in the shotgun seat, and I was like, uh-uh. and so I like walked over and I like knocked on the window and I like tried to open the door, but she locked it. And she was ignoring me. She was just like. <laughs> so I was like, just deal with it. like it's my day. <laughs> she just kept looking. Today is my day. And then I was like, get out of the get out of the car. It's my day to be in, in the front. And she just like looked at me and like looked back and started texting <laughs> somebody. <laughs> and I was like, You looked in the sky. This isn't happening. So I I went back in the in the house and I told my mom, you know, like, my sister won't get out of the car. <laughs> and she was like, I don't care, just talk to her about it. So I was like <laughs> and I ended up like storming out, like stomping, and I like Punched slammed the, the door. And apparently, like uh, I slammed the door so hard I knocked over some stuff in the house. And then, like I went over to the car and I just looked at my sister. And I looked at the house, looked back at her, and then I flipped her off. <laughs> <laughs> and then, like stormed out towards the street and just like sat there. And then my mom came out of the house and she was like, "I saw that you're grounded." And I was like. <laughs> Okay. That was my temper tantrum. Hunter, you're uh, you're pretty easy going. Nice. Mm-hmm. Only killed that three bad, people. Huh? I have a lot of them. Wait, <laughs> like, what, what's the time at? What's the time at? Like eighteen minutes. Oh, oh, geez. All right, All right. Uh, um, go fast. Um. Honestly, there's like too many of them. You were targeted for that. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so we it's were. A in... Shut up. <laughs> Just go, go. We were in Kentucky. I was like seven, I think, and we were at a place called Dizzy Wiz, which is amazing, by the way. Tequila? Dizzy Wiz. Oh, Dizzy Wiz. Yes, that is amazing. If you're dizzy, you gotta whiz. <clears throat> and they didn't okay. give me. They didn't give me the right burger. And so my grandma was like, okay, go back up to the counter and tell them to fix your order. I'm like, okay, so I gave it to them. And then it's like 20 minutes passed, and I still got my burger. And so my grandma would like go up there and talk to me and stuff. They're like, oh, we're going to give you a burger, blah, blah, blah. Here's fries. Um, I don't want fries. So I literally took the fries and pour, and like threw them all <laughs> over the floor. And then I had like a, because they don't give you cups, they give you pitchers. I literally had a pitcher and just tilt, tipped it upside down and dumped it all over the table. <laughs> Deal with it. This and is. And that's about it. This is the image of class. Just. I when you're burger. mad, break stuff. <laughs> I want my. So I want he said. You, she said <laughs> you have a lot. You're not of giving me my burger. Stuff. Hey, I've had a lot of temper tantrums when I was a kid <laughs> at like <laughs> high school and middle school. Dude, you can... <laughs> Have I told you? Huh? Have yeah. I told you about some of the ten? Or some he of got the got I've been there. there. No, he got, he got trouble with social studies, flipped the desk, kicked the trash can across the room and walked out and punched the wall. Punched the wall. On the way out. Uh, yeah. 
Yeah. Well, we're at 20 minutes All right. Away, so, so uh, we love you guys. Sad, Not dude. really. You're Peace. Stupid. We all love you. Bye. Toodles.